You know those recipes you read and they say, drain the fat? No, thank you. Hey, NJ, Route22.com here with a quick vlog, public service announcement for the low carb keto carnivore crowd out there. Uh, your whole life when you follow recipes or cook things at home and you'll see like especially when it involves uh, ground beef and it always says of uh, brown the, the ground beef and drain the fat no I keep the fat that's the best part it, it's free food especially if you get a, a fattier cut like an 80 or even a 75 or 73 percent ground beef that's free food I mean sometimes a lot of it just melts away and draining the fat um, you're, you're taking away a great part of, of the beef that uh, helps sati satiate you, which is the fat. And it's a flavorful as well. I mean, that's the crappy thing when you cook uh, a burger on the grill, like a 73% burger, which I buy a lot of. Uh, they're very flavorful, but a lot of the, the drippings go away down the, down the, into the fire and smoke up and stuff. But for any uh, you know, stovetop based recipe that you cook, uh, ground beef and always save the fat it, it doesn't um, I mean I, I make these things called lasagna bakes they're they're noodleless uh, lasagna bakes it's just meat and ricotta cheese and other cheeses and a little bit of uh, tomato puree just for flavor not a lot the the problem is my little lasagna filling doesn't always you know, even with an egg doesn't become as as you know as stiff as it does when you make it in a lasagna and part of the reason for that is the lasagna noodles usually absorb a lot of the moisture into the into the pasta but and draining the fat there might help you but I, I still don't drain I'll eat it soupy it'll be like a cheese meat soup chili type thing but never drain the fat keep the fat and you're, you're you have more food to eat and you'll probably eat less of it before you're satiated have a good week ahead <music>